think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you and I will lead back your captives from every place. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. My dear friends, we welcome all of you to Mass today. Especially we welcome all the school children and the teachers. We are only one week away from Thanksgiving. So we offer this Mass to uh, give thanks to God for his um, many gifts and blessings in our daily life. As we begin the Mass, we acknowledge the love and the mercy of God as we call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you always listen mercifully to your people in distress. We humbly ask you, as we give you thanks for your kindness, that being free from all evil, we may always serve you in gladness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now we listen to the biblical readings. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw, standing in the midst of the throne, and the four living creatures and the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. 
The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The, the Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The, the Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now, a man there named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man was seeking to see Jesus. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So Zacchaeus ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received Jesus with joy. When the people saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to Jesus, Lord, behold, half of my possessions I shall give to the poor, and if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to search for and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, once again we uh, welcome all of you to Mass today. And uh, we hope that uh, you are having a good school year. I know it is only one week until Thanksgiving. We hope and uh, we pray that uh, all of you will have a good uh, Thanksgiving break. Our friends uh, Avery and uh, Whitney from uh, sixth grade are the ones uh, proclaiming the readings for us today. Today, I uh, just want to share with you a few things from uh, the gospel reading that uh, we had a chance to hear. Zacchaeus was uh, a tax collector, and uh, we know that uh, in the time of Jesus, the Romans had control over most of the uh, Mediterranean 
and North Africa. So Jesus and his uh, Israelite people lived under the control of the Romans. Tax collectors in those days, even though they were Israelites, they also were working for the Romans. They collected money. They collected tax from their fellow Israelites. And uh, they worked for the Romans. So in the eyes of uh, the common people, tax collectors were traitors. They were the ones who rebelled against their own religious and ancestral heritage. They were really bad people. And yet, in today's reading, we hear about Zacchaeus, who was the chief tax collector, meaning that uh, he was super bad. And yet, when uh, he encounters Jesus, Jesus still gives him a chance to uh, reform and to be better. So uh, the gospel message for us today is that uh, no matter how bad we may be, no matter how messed up people are, the Lord always gives them another chance to come back to him and to follow him. My friends, that's the message and that's the good news of uh, our faith that God is always willing to give us one more chance to come back to him and to follow him. And uh, at this moment, we invite all of you to please stand as we uh, offer our prayer to God. That all members of the church may be given the gifts of the Holy Spirit to help us in our witness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That policymakers may find their help in the Lord and be strengthened by their work by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who undergo persecution may find consolation in the sufferings of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our community may grow in the compassion of Jesus in our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For safety during the pandemic, healing for those suffering from it, and wisdom for all researchers working on remedies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed, especially Vance De Maria, Sheila Delancey, Lilia Hodenot, and Frank Huntsman, may soon be admitted to the Lamb's high banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of the intentions which we mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We also pray for all of you, school children and uh, teachers and parents. As you are about to have your Thanksgiving break, that uh, you all may be safe. 
We also pray for the homeless and the poor in this uh, upcoming holiday season that uh, they may receive proper assistance in their poverty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear and answer our prayer that we may always walk in your truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. My dear friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, you give us your Son, Jesus, to rescue us from evil. Accept, we pray, in mercy our sacrifice which we bring to you in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, as without end we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the whole world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother bishops, all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And uh, now, together, let us pray the prayer that uh, Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer one another the sign of peace. Together, let us say, Lamb of God, you, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only, only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never, Never permit, permit me to be separated, separated from, from you. you. Amen. Let us pray. We have received the gift of this sacred sacrament, humbly asking you, O Lord, that what your Son, Jesus, commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, we wish all of you uh, a very uh, happy and safe Thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us now go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To be